sides of the same coin one the healthy ones and the other the sick one the wealthy other the poor when you think you are wealthy and you carry that weight that you are wealthy then you can find you are living in fear you doesn't carry the amount of energy you can find there is palpitation and the same goes with the poor too whenever i was doing the heaviest of exercise not the ordinary the heaviest to the heaviest where you come to a stage where you think you have no more energy left that you might die now that is the time you find again a new opening and you keep on doing you never get tired there is no palpitation on the same side the same kind of energy in that first stage when you do the extremes of exercise and you think you have no more energy left you're going to die you scream to the highest stage highest stage and till at the end of the class end of your practice you're very healthy the same thing when you scream at a person to the same energy or one tenth of the energy or one percent of the energy you immediately the body shocks yes can you believe this and uh, you immediately go into a shock that you cannot uh, take it any more further you fall sick this difference if the society understands it is on the permanent i can on the music and i can dance i can go for hours and take them for hours together in variety of moves on hand and the legs and the amount of energy i can throw under the waterfalls for hours together not i'm talking five minutes maybe five hours six hours at this stretch under the waterfalls and you find the energy come the same if you try to go to the field with the workers and try to prove you can do with them that proving you you lose your energy so fast in 5 minutes against 5 hours if this the world is understood that they drop the wealthy and i am poor just all the people drop it and just enjoy your energy i think there is no poverty there's only happiness johann christian friedrich holder lien born on 20th march 1717 germany died on 7th june 1843 to begin in germany set in life learn art in the art work learn life if you see the one correctly you see the other also yes in life learn art 
means in the art book learn life if you see the one correctly you will see the other also one that one was very important every philosophy is kept telling if you know to keep one step 10000 steps are the same just but that one if you try to make two for gain you will never succeed hence to go to astrologers and to many seminars and they might teach you and you might get two but the two was living in pain they say everyone drop makes a big ocean ocean of energy ocean of love yes but that everyone drop if it is to possess without sharing you can see it is unhealthy yes John Christian Friedrich Hölderlin was a German poet and philosopher described by Norbert von Hellinggrad as the most German of Germans Hölderlin was a key figure of German romanticism particularly due to his early association with and philosophical influence on George William Friedrich Hegel and Friedrich William Joseph Schelling and he was also an important thinker in the development German idealism. You learn in life, learn art. When you learn, when you are deep in love, you drop that learning. The L he is not cunning. He is innocent. Yes, that innocence that when you have the cunningness, you can never learn because you are trying to. have an you immediately release to get the interest of that release if you enjoy your wife's body and your husband's body then in life in learning you will drop the l and in the earning the earning happens of its own and then you digest it is called art you um you are it and there is an orgasmic explosion of saturis of stars and that belief that income is easy to share because the more you give the more it comes back said mother teresa in life learn art in the art to work learn life because in the art if you learn earn and earn and earn it is lifeful there's an art self if you see one correctly correctly is consciousness 